Words that sound like what they mean, onomatopoeia, are frequently among babies' earliest words. Animal sounds, such as moo and ba, are fun and easy to say. Kids connect with nature through sound. They come to understand the different meanings of the buzz of insects, the chirp of birds, and the whisper of wind through leaves, and the rumble of thunder. Kids benefit from listening to the sounds of nature. Henry David Thoreau spoke of the voice of nature when he said, Each new year is a surprise to us. We find that we had forgotten the note of each bird, and when we hear it again, it is remembered like a dream. As kids continue to develop language, caregivers play an active role in vocabulary development. Kids can think about and talk about nature more effectively when they can name the things in nature. They are more effective communicators when they know orange tree and maple tree instead of just tree. They are more effective communicators when they know yarrow and salvia instead of just flower. Are you not sure of the name of a particular plant? No pressure. There are apps for that. One of the best is Picture This. Beyond vocabulary, caregivers can engage kids in conversations about nature. Questions like, what color is the yarrow? Give kids practice when they are learning colors. Questions like, how tall is the salvia? Give kids practice when they are learning about size. But make sure to ask open-ended questions too. Invite kids to develop their sense of wonder with questions such as, tell me about the smells of this garden, and why do you think bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds visit this garden? If you were a bird, where would you build a nest? Once the conversation is started, it's time to do more listening than talking. Kids appreciate a good listener. As kids grow, they learn to communicate thoughts and feelings. They try on different scenarios through storytelling and are drawn to stories with characters from nature. Language is social. Unstructured time outdoors gives kids time to develop the language of cooperation. Is it any wonder that some of the benefits of time outdoors are better communication and social skills? See you outdoors. There's so much to experience and talk about.